Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. And Braxis here, bringing you another Altus Life tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at a quick start guide, how to get started in Altus Life. If you never played before, you need to make some money and figure out what's going on. Now, if you're watching this video, I highly suggest you go ahead and check out my basic controls video. Um, you know, if you've really never played Arma, or you know, maybe you bought Arma because you saw, um, you know, like a Stratus Life or a Takistan Life video. You're going to want to go check out the basic controls video. Alright, so let's go ahead and get in the tutorial. Quick start. How to get started in Altus Life. There's a few things you need to keep in mind. You can do things legally and you can do them illegally. It depends on how you want to play. Just keep in mind um, that cops can be pretty irritating. They can be kind of abusive at times. So if you're going to be playing illegally, just you know, I want you to keep in mind you could potentially have a really bad time playing. Um, you know, depending on what the cops are like and what server you're playing on. Currently, we're on the SEAL Team Sloth server. Um, so, I'm going to show you that. It's one of the more advanced servers that are out right now. You know, there could be more in the future. However, that's what we have for right now. Um, so, basically, what's going on here is Altus Life is the adaptation of Stratus Life and Takistan Life. It's a simulator where um, basically you're playing a civilian, you're playing a police officer. It's basically just a giant game of cops and robbers. And the whole goal is to basically just make money, make friends, have fun, you know, do some legal stuff, do some, you know, it's basically an RP server. But you won't find too many people will be RPing until they made quite a bit of money. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do, how to get started. So the first thing you need to do um, if you're playing on this server is decide what city you're going to spawn in. Now, for this server, you have a few options. You can spawn in um, Kavala here. There's also um, this city, Areth Etheria, and Sophia, and then this town down here, uh, Pyrgos. Pyrgos really doesn't have any kind of benefit other than the fact that it does have a truck shop there. Um, and I do believe there's a donator shop somewhere close by on this server. So that's a thing. And I'm probably going to get run over if I keep standing in the street. So what do you do to get started? Typically, you don't have a whole lot of money. So looking at me, I have $60,000 and I have a number of licenses. Uh, when you first start out, you're not going to have any of this. You're basically going to have about um, $6,500 or $9,000. Depends on what server you're playing on. Almost all the life servers are really close to each other. Um, you know, basically, it's just um, you know, kind of mod authors fighting each other. Um, you know, some have some features, others don't. Um, so it depends what kind of money you start out with. Um, but basically, here's what you're going to want to do. So to make money in the game, basically, if you're playing legally, you want to acquire goods and services. Um, you know, like delivery missions, picking up copper. You know, mining. Um, or stuff like that, um, fishing, all that good stuff. If you're playing Ill illegally, you're going to be looking at drugs and stuff like that. Now for a quick start guide, what we're going to do is show you um, one of the quickest and easiest ways to make money. And that's going to be apple picking or peach picking, depending on what feels closer. Peaches is quite a f bit of ways. Um, that's because the apple farm is right there. And the market's right here. And the market's where you're going to be selling um, you know, your fruits and stuff. And we'll be talking about ores and stuff like that here in just a little bit. Um, but the best way to make money straight off the bat is to go ahead and pick apples and drop them off at the market. And then the ATM's right there so you can deposit your money. And the server does, or some servers do save your progress. Now that I've told you that, let me tell you what you're going to want to do or what you want to gonna get into. So when you first start um, an Aldous Life character, you know, the first time you log in because it's saved to your unique Steam ID. Um, basically, you're not going to have enough money to get all the gear you want plus a vehicle. You have to make a decision. Um, and that decision kind of needs to be that you're going to pick up a license and you're going to get a backpack. Um, anything beyond that is kind of luxury until you've made a couple of runs and made some money. Um, so let me go ahead and show you that. Right here is the DMV. Um, so we can go ahead and start off that way. I went ahead and put a marker on my map. If you don't know how to put markers on your map, which is pretty essential to getting around easier um, in any Arma game, go ahead and watch the controls tutorial again. 
I, I cover it in there. So we're going to head over to the DMV, even though I already have the licenses, um, just to give you a general idea of you know what the prices of different items you're going to be trying to acquire are. So you walk up to this guy, and you use your mouse wheel. You scroll up or down, and it brings up a list of different licenses and how much money you need. Now, the regular driving license is $500. Not too bad, but when you start off with only like $6,500 or $9,500, it's a good chunk of your starting money. And, you know, it, it's a good chunk. And if you want to get a vehicle or anything like that, and particularly once you want to pick up a backpack, um, you know, you're only going to want to pick up just the driver's license. So this guy's just being a douche and standing in front of me and stuff. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead, pick up your driver's license, then head over here to Bruce's uh, backpack outfitters and stuff like that. Uh, where's that marker to the left? So basically from here on out I'm going to be cutting to the new locations and then talking to you once I'm there. Alright, so now we're at Bruce's Outfitters. Let's go ahead and take a look at our map. It was just down the street from the DMV. And this is where you're going to pick up your clothes and your backpack if you want your character to look a certain way, um, etc. Now I did forget to grab money out of the ATM, um, so I'm just basically going to show you how this functions. Again, you're going to use your mouse scroll wheel. It'll bring up an options menu, and when you click on these items, you'll see you know how much it's going to cost you. So, um, you know, and as far as like the clothes are concerned, uh, no one set of clothes holds more than any other, uh, at least at the moment. It's just the way they look. So, you know, the more unique they look, the more they're going to cost you. Like the mechanics coveralls. Um, I think this is one of the few clothing options that actually gives you more space um, to carry normal items not in, not the in-game items which we'll talk about later but just to hold normal items 2500 bucks and then you know you've got this menu down here you go through hats glasses vests um, and backpacks now when you're just starting off you're gonna want a backpack so any backpack you can get your hands on you want to get that and you're gonna notice the price for um, you know the smallest one is 1250 bucks um, you know, next size up, 3000 then 5000 um, So go ahead, start off with the smallest one. You're not going to be with it too long um, because I'm going to be showing, you know, uh, wow, where's that going? Now I'm going to be showing you how to make um, a little bit of money really quick. Okay, so once you have that, um, basically you're going to go ahead and make your way either to the car shop or to the apple field, depending on how much money you have left. Now a quad bike's uh, $2,500. That's not too expensive as a good place to start. So we're going to go ahead over and head to the car shop. I'm going to actually take some money out of the ATM and get my guy geared up so I can actually show you what's going on and we'll, uh, you know, I'll cut back in here in just a sec. Alright, and we're back. I just wanted to, uh, you know, boot this up right before I got over to the car shop and, uh, you know, just let you guys know what's going on. I forgot to mention that the reason that you actually need a backpack is because it gives you more storage space on your character. Uh, now to see your storage space, all you do is hit Y, and you'll see it up here. Weight is 88. Now if I was if I had the $5,000 backpack, it'd be like 96 or something like that, which isn't too important for apples, but a little later on it will be important. Now I pulled out um, a little more money than normal because I am going to be starting this character. Um, you know, I'm just kind of going to be playing him after the videos are all done and everything. So I went ahead and outfitted him in what I wanted to wear. Um, so when you get over here to the car shop, you're going to see a quad bike, uh, you know, hatchback, off-road, etc. Any vehicles that you see in here, you can purchase with your normal license. Anything bigger than these vehicles from the truck shop, you have to buy a truck license, um, which is $20,000. Um, so you, get, you, you can make your choice. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up a quad bike because that's, you know, what you guys are going to start with. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, and take a look at, you know, picking apples. And then I'm going to tell you the best way to make money starting off and uh, you know not a whole lot of people do this either it's you know it might be inconvenient for them etc um. all right so here we are we're in the apple field go ahead and look at the maps here where we are right there we're in the apple field apple field picks are really simple you just scroll wheel up pick apples um, and it says pick three apples. They're going to show up in your inventory. Each apple weighs one. Um, so I can hold 88. 
Um, now, the most important thing and the reason you brought a vehicle in the first place instead of running out here for the first time is you're going to want to step up to your vehicle, uh, hit the letter T, and that's going to open the vehicle's inventory. Now, the vehicle can hold 25 apples. Um, so, you know, you want to pick your 25 apples, put them in the bike, fill up the rest of your bag, and then head over to the market um, to sell them. Um, so the bigger the vehicle you have, the more inventory space you're going to have. And uh, I'll be covering that in another vehicle, which, you know, what vehicles have, what inventory size, etc. Um, but so we're just going to go ahead and pick some apples, then we're going to head over to the market. So we're going to cut back in over there. All right, so here we are. We're uh, over at the market now. You always want to make sure you lock your vehicle because, yeah, that guy. So now we're over at the market, this is where you're just going to sell off your apples. So we got 88 apples, just select them, hit sell. I got $4,400, um, you know, just for that trip. I basically just paid for all the gear that I bought for my character. So, um, you know, I'm happy with that, but I'm going to show you a much better way, a much faster way for you to acquire money. But you definitely want to go, you're, you know, you're going to want to go like pick apples or peaches or something like that. Um, at least to start with because you want to get a little bit of money together so that you can get all the gear that you need um, because you're going to want to prepare for the trip now one thing that I need to mention um, as you move up in tiers and I'll probably cover this in the um, you know how to make you know actual how to make money video instead of the quick start guide is uh, you know doing ores and stuff like that if you're going to do ores you have to get a pickaxe which you'll get um, here at the market keep in mind that you have that processing license stuff like that but that'll be covered in the how to make money video um, so what are you gonna need out of here for um, you know a good way to make early starting money you're gonna wanna go ahead and get yourself two water bottles two bacons that should keep you fed for a couple of days you're gonna want to get at least one lock pick just in case because you never know what's you know what's gonna happen um, there is a percentage of them failing, but, um, you know, you just hope you don't have to use it. Um, but, you know, things happen. Next thing you're going to want to do, and I don't know why they screwed with the camera angle for um, the quad bikes, is you're going to go over to the general store, and uh, we'll cut in as soon as I get there. Alright, so here we are, we're over at the general store. And basically when you want to grab way at the general store, um, you want to find out what time it is on the server, so ask somebody when the sun you know, last went down, etc. Um, you're going to want to get yourself night vision, um, and because you have the backpack, you can put stuff in your backpack like normal items like these, and it won't take up space, um, you know, counting against um, stuff you can mine or pick out in the world. But you're going to want to get yourself like two or three toolkits just in case something stupid happens. I like to get some binos. Uh, why don't I have enough space for binoculars? That's strange. You're going to want to go ahead and get some binoculars, um, etc. Why do I have two um, coveralls? That's strange. I like to get binoculars. You don't have to. Um, but the toolkits are the most important thing for you to grab. And then the next best way for you to make money, um, you know, just starting off, our delivery missions located right here um, you go up here you pick up a delivery mission um, and it'll send you off into the world and depending on where that delivery mission actually sends you um, is how much money you're gonna make so for an example if you pick up a delivery mission here and it sends you to uh, to drop point 20 which I should probably show you guys um, so if you pick up a delivery mission here and send you to drop point 20 which is like way over here the best you know run you can get is from here to there or from checkpoint 8 to there um, you know like a run all the way up here is probably gonna be like 45,000 ish um, you know but for an example if it only sends you to like here you're looking at maybe 10k and then you know anything shorter than that um, you're gonna just be uh, under the double digits um, but keep in mind uh, you know every time you drop something off on a delivery mission you know for an example you go up here to check uh, DP 20 um, you can accept another mission 
So once you get here, um, you know, you, you drop off whatever you're going to drop off, wait a couple seconds, and then it, it'll give you another delivery mission when you talk to the guy again, um, which can send you, um, you know, somewhere else where you can make more money. You know, typically if you get sent to the side of the map, drop something off, and you pick up one over here, it'll send you back um, so that at least the trips are going to be worth your while. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do one and I'll just show you the results of that and that's going to wrap it up for the quick start tutorial. It's simply the best way for you to just get started in the game and you're going to want to watch my other videos so you know you know what's the best money, um, you know all that good stuff, the ins and outs, you're going to want to watch um, the control video etc that way you know um, you know how to do different things inside the the game you know I'm sure you've seen a lot of me open a lot of menus maybe you don't know how to open um, and all that good stuff but what you want to keep in mind is um, after you've done your delivery missions stuff like that um, the money that's down here you see that six thousand one hundred and fifteen that money is not safe if you die it'll drop on the ground so whenever you make some money you want to see if you can find an ATM and deposit it and when you deposit it, simply hit sync data, it saves your information to the server, and then your money is safe. So let's go ahead and pick up this delivery mission, and then I will show you uh, the end result. So delivery to DP10. So there's 11, 9, 8, DP10. Alright, and we'll cut back in once I get over there. All right, so we just dropped off the package, $14,000 into our bank account. We're going to just pop over here to the ATM, deposit it, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.